I'm here with Brian Buckner, who is the project coordinator for the 90, which is UK's new dining hall on campus, but it seems like it's really so much more than just a dining hall. Yes. It seems so much different from what I remember from when I was in college. Tell us about some of the great features this one's going to have. Sure. So students will be able to enter from two sides of the campus, from, from Hilltop or from the residence halls uh, on both sides of the building. Students will be able to go up to some of the kitchen platforms and order food that is made fresh in front of them. All of the cooking, all of the preparation is highly visible, so there's a high level of transparency between what is being made and served to the students. There's also retail food options on Hilltop Drive. Uh, and those options are Ovid's, which is being brought over from the WTN Library, oh, great. Aqua Sushi, which is a local yeah. uh, option. Then we also have a Taco Bell Express, Wildcat Pantry, which is a convenience store, and La Madeline, which will be opening at the end of September. But honestly, I mean, as great as those things are, some of the things you've got in here are fantastic. Talk about some of the options students could get to eat in here. Sure. So one of the first things you'll see when you enter the Fresh Food Company is what we call the International Platform. That has a Mongolian style grill uh, for cooking all sorts of different foods on kind of a flat top surface. There's also a vegetarian station, a pasta station, pizza. We will also on the opposite side will have a produce area, a deli, a bakery which will be making all of the pastas, the doughs, gelato, everything fresh at that mm -hmm. platform. On the back side there's a grill so hamburgers, grilled chicken, things like that, french fries. Uh, and then there's also a home style area, which would be for mashed potatoes, the kind of down home cooking that you might be used to at home. And one of the more unique features of the building, we have an area called the Worry Free Zone. And that area is for students that have uh, allergies, whether it's tree nut, gluten, um, what have you. And those students can go and have food that's specially prepared for them at that platform. There's a breakfast area that's set up almost like you would see at a, a hotel continental breakfast where you can make waffles, coffee, cereal, things like that. But it, it's really open to anybody that has classes over on the side of the campus so we, we expect to have a lot of students eating here on a day-to-day -day basis. And people can just come in, right? If you, that, if, if you want to just stop by correct, and get yes. lunch, it's a great place if you're on campus or near campus. The first day of service is going to be on August 21st. The first day of classes is on the 26th. So the first day of service here is just going to be for lunch, uh, just to kind of get things started. But then as the students move in over the weekend and classes start to get up, get up and running, uh, we'll start to see obviously a lot more activity within the building. I'm here with Lillian Breslin, who is the executive director of the Food Connection, which is inside the 90. And this has got to be one of the coolest spaces in this great building. I think so. <laughs> so tell me what we're, what we're seeing. What is this going to be? So the Food Connection is both a physical space and a broader center. So right now we're in our new venue at the 90. It's a high-end, gorgeous demonstration kitchen, meeting space, offices. That's really the hub of our work here and a way to be visible to the campus community and bring the broader Kentucky community onto campus to see the work we're doing. We want this space to be a space of convening and learning and a way to showcase the great local and Kentucky proud food that's available. Um, our vision for this space is to have cooking demonstrations, academic conferences and workshops, professional workshops to have meet the farmer cooking demonstrations. Oh, so just great. to make yeah. this really a hub of activity. Um, and get folks excited about the stuff that's happening both downstairs in the Fresh Connection and on the broader campus. And the Food Connection is focused primarily on the local food connection, right? Getting local food into the campus, what we would think of a cafeteria, but in the broader mindset as well, right? Yeah, our mission is to work across campus and across the community to build a vibrant and sustainable food and farm economy for Kentucky. So a big part of that is this kind of unique public-private partnership between UK and our UK dining partners with Aramark. We're going to develop an online cooking show that we're tentatively calling Wildcats Cook, where our student athletes, their dietitian, and guest chefs come in and show us how to prepare fresh, healthy, local, high-performance food. Um, so that sounds very fun. Yeah, I think that it'll be great, great, and that'll be available on the web. Well, thanks so much for letting us come in and see this gorgeous kitchen. Yeah, thanks so much.